Christmas Remembrance Service, which has been an annual event by the Society since 1926, on the Saturday in April, which is nearest to the date of the battle. We welcome all of you who wish to remember those that fell on the moor 268 years ago. As you would expect, and is appropriate, that some of this service will be in Gaelic. What followed the battle was even bloodier than the battle itself when the Hanoverians sought out the supporters of the Jacobites and murdered them across the highlands. This annual service gives us the opportunity to honour the memory of those that fell and, to, and today we remember all that were lost in this battle and afterwards. The service, as I said, will be in Gaelic and for those of you who do not understand the language or who don't have an order of service, I will briefly explain what is to happen. We will have a prayer from the Reverend K.D. MacLeod, followed by a lament, Lord Lovett's lament, by Ronald MacLean. And then we have the Chief's address, and our Chief for this year is Margaret Bennett. We have only had, or should I say, we've only had one previous Lady Chief. Uh, so Margaret Bennett is actually the second Lady Chief that we've had in the history of the Society. Uh, then we have the laying of wreaths. Uh, we will have the wreath for the Gaelic Society and then the wreath for the National Trust. And I would ask each and every one of you who want to lay a wreath or a floral tribute to then come forward and announce who you are and who you're representing. Uh, something that we've introduced this year is a Gaelic psalm, which we haven't had in previous years. And we have Don Roddy McCaskill, who will do the presenting, along with Pardy Martin who will do the second verse. Uh, presenting or lining out, as it's called, is something that was done very much by our forebearers, but is still carried on to this day. And it's been very much part of the Gaelic culture in the Highlands. It was introduced when the Bibles weren't very plentiful, and the presenter will sing the line, and then the, the congregation will sing the line after him, along with him. Uh, the first two lines are sung with the presenter, and then he lines out the third line and so on. It'll become fairly obvious as we're carrying on with it, and I want you all to join in as much as possible. If you don't know the words, at least hum it. <laughs> 